Julian Hill. What more of a novella name do you want than Julian Hill? For those of you guys who don't know who Julian Hill is, he is actually a novella star, a business owner, uh, whatever it is that has to do with production, that's what he is. But he was born in Argentina. He then migrated to Puerto Rico at a very early age. He started his career there at, I believe at 20 years old. I would compare him to the Latin American David Beckham. I don't think nobody's gonna disagree when you see his picture. Look at him. He's 50 years old, yes, 50 years old. Uh, his most famous soap opera is called Amar Sin Ley. So Spanish, right? Amar Sin Ley, love without law. I think that's the right translation. If not, just tell me down below. He has a restaurant in Miami. It's called La Placita. <laughs> So good. If you love Puerto Rican food, and if you don't love Puerto Rican food, you need to go and eat their food. It's delicious. He also appears on a Gol de la Flaca. Whenever Goldo's not there, he's there. And he also has a show on Univision where he talks about sports. And that show is called uh, República Deportiva, which you'll see some of those behind the scenes from that show as well. Bueno, seguimos aquí en República Deportiva por primera vez en este segmento estamos de pie porque vamos a recibir a un gran amigo, un compañero de varias películas mías en Hollywood, ¿Ah, sí? galas de los Oscars. Ah, todo sí, eso. Sí, todo eso. Cuenta que Oscar. No, claro, con él varias veces. Sí, sí, un tocaba. fuerte aplauso, Ben Affleck. I used to work in retail. Don't judge me and my horrible model face right now, but this was for a competition when I used to work at All Saints. Anyways, let's keep going. One of the places that I worked at was in an eyewear company, and that store is in Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. In this small little space, you'd probably have between 100 people or at any given time altogether. So I say that because out of all those people in the store, for just a moment, I remember glancing at the door, seeing this man put his head in the door. Este pelito si jode. Look to the left and to the right. Guess he didn't see what he wanted to buy there. And guess who it was? Julian Hill. I didn't know his name at the time, but I'm like, that's the novella guy. Later on during that week, I did see him on my feed and I guess he was doing something in a local uh, store promoting an item. That was probably a few years until our world collided again. Things were happening in Puerto Rico. I was seeing him all over my social media with Ricky Martin, with Residente, um, El Molusco. I was seeing this man appear all over my feed. I knew he was a big figure in Puerto Rico and then I started to learn more about who Julian Hill was and who he is. Long story short, from meeting him that one day, seeing him just look for a few seconds into my store and leaving. I don't believe in coincidence, so I think destiny brought us together. And we ended up working in the same place in Kissimmee, Florida, in a play called Es Tuyo o Mio. And that's featuring him and in Molusco. Para 
que ella también tenía calor. It was a very fun play. Like I said, it was prime in the heat of the moment where Puerto Rico was trying to overthrow the government. And so all the Puerto Ricans of Kissimmee were there. All the Puerto Ricans of Orlando were there. And if you guys are in Central Florida, you know that's a lot of people. Seeing his job, his professionalism, and how he knows how to, in Spanish you say, enamorar la cámara, I know he would be great to work with in the future. And I thought, I need to work with him again. He mentioned to me that he had a play that was gonna debut in Orlando. And I said, I'm there, call me, we're doing this. So we went on a media tour, which some of this footage here is from that media tour in Orlando. Gente que, que sé que aquí en Orlando hay muchos venezolanos, una mexicana, una eh, eh, cubana y una boricua. Así que son la banda sonora. Ya lo como te envidia. Es masacote, papá. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, Oye, aquí estoy. Qué cosita, qué está bonita. Oye, Ay, Dios mío. Te no, 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 yo no aguanto este empuje, papi. Este empuje yo me lo mato, mi amor. Mira, mira somos cuatro, no nos vamos a casar. No, hay cuatro niños. De atrás, donde te vas, a morir de la risa, lo supero. Y regresamos en unos instantes. Ahí está, ahora estamos. Así me dijeron anoche. ¿Está casada tú, soltera? Ah, soltera. Dios mío. Divorciada, divorciada. Ah, qué raro, casi todas las mujeres están divorciadas. Ya empezaron a joder. ¿eh? Y, y, fue, y fue y fue I went to all the, the radio stations that I heard growing up in Orlando. I've been here since 1997. Being able to see the guy and hear him say, Rumba, cien puto de goma salsa reggaeton, was a dream come true. I wanted to grab the microphone from him and do it myself, but that didn't happen. Maybe it will happen next time. I got to see what people don't see, how hard celebrities work behind the scenes. Through this time, the team and I grew, some, grew a special friendship. We did go into Miami. Hoy, anunciando que vamos a empezar en Miami. The brides are here. Hello, hello, hello. We definitely need a Versailles in Orlando. Just for the record, this is before Botox. Uno, dos, tres. And so we did the same thing. We went to Univision, we went to some stations there. Just to give you guys a backstory, maybe you're not familiar with the Hispanic TV culture or celebrity culture, but growing up in a home where my grandmother had Univision on 24 seven, I grew up seeing Cristina Saralegui, Do Francisco from Sabado Gigante, El Gordo Le Flaca, El Gordo Le Flaca, El Gordo Le Flaca. And I can't forget Despierta America. All of those shows were from five o'clock to midnight. To be able to walk into the yeah, station where all of that, all of my childhood is right there in front of me was a blessing. It was fun. It was exciting. It was everything I expected and even more. There at Univision, we went because he was going to appear on Despierta America. <laughs> and also appear on a Go de la Flaca. Now here you can see in Despierta America, my photos are on their wall. When your picture is on, Despierta America, que chévere. 
what? That was cool. So as they're interviewing Julian and he's putting on his show with the girls from the play, um, I'm seeing my images there. It's fun. It's happening fast, back to back. It's fast paced. And so I'm, that was my first BTS on ear moment. I just want to take a second to enjoy this little Vogue session we had outside of Univision Studios. Look at this. Bam, bam, killing it. From there, he went to doing some more appearances on I Go De La Flaca. So every time he'd go, I'd go with him. And then I ended up going without him. No, 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 tranquilo. tranquilo. Cásate en el siguiente segmento, por favor. No, no, vamos. Lo que me faltaba. Se va Raúl y tú te me quieres casar en mi segmento. Y Lili anda con la, con, la, con la liga esa que a mí me provoca. Eh, uh, con la liga buena. Yo no he hablado con Lili lo que oh, sé de tu cuerpo. Uh, yes. like Miami is like Spanish Hollywood, for those of you guys who are not familiar with Miami. And so. I got to make friends with Ray, which is an awesome videographer. Check out his content. He's great. So me and Ray are teaming up there in theater. And this is a little tip for any creative out there. Collaborate with your friends. And when you're working on a project for anyone, especially a celebrity, you got to make sure that as a team, you're helping each other to produce the best content. At this event, there was a whole bunch of celebrities coming in. definitely knew who Maripili was. This is Maripili. I told my friend, hey, Maripili's here. You need video of her. And so we were always looking for each other and looking out for each other, like interview this person. So I'd call the person, hey, Maripili, we would love to get you to interview for Julian Hill. And my friend would capture it. And then I'd get another person, hey, such and such, can you please record for Julian? Because you want to get the best content for your artist. That's how you're going to be getting booked over and over again. Vamos a desayunar al bistro, ¿quieres? Claro, tengo hambre. After all of this great success in Miami and in Orlando, now fast forward. So here we are. We did this tour in Miami and Orlando. Now Julian says, Papá, ¿tú quieres ir para Santo Domingo? I said, claro, tigre, ¿qué tú crees? So we go to Santo Domingo. We go to Punta Cana. The conception of a dream has become a reality. Together, as professionals of the industry, in the most beautiful locations in Dominican Republic. connecting Hollywood and Latin America. A place where artists can meet.
Beautiful. So I didn't know what we had in store because <laughs> if anybody knows Julian when you work with him, he just tells you enough information that you need to know. And so he said, we're going to go to Santo Domingo. It's a film festival. That's it. So I didn't know what to expect. Julian Hill invites me to this event called Cana Dorada. It was a great concept. It's about merging the two cultures of Latin America and North America or the American market, whatever you want to call it. But your favorite American artist and your favorite Spanish artist all in one room. Can you imagine that? Fernando Colunga in the same room with the guy from Rocky. No, not Sylvester Stallone, the other guy. Dolph from Rocky. Can you imagine Fernando Colunga in the same room with Lala? Amazing. It was the most beautiful, the most beautiful event I've been to in my life. I don't know if I'll be in something as pretty as that ever again and the most beautiful event I've ever seen on TV. These are some videos from behind the scenes of this event. I just captured these videos from my memory and I'm just sharing it with you guys. So forgive some of the qualities. Literally me like, I gotta show my wife, I gotta show my friends. This is fun. <laughs>
Saludos, hola. I'm appreciative for these moments and these behind the scenes that I, I thought to capture for myself, but here I am today sharing them for you. And so I promise going forward, I'll keep showing you those moments that I was sharing for myself and I'm going to share them with you. The tips of how to work with celebrities or the tips on how to get booked again. I hope you enjoyed this video of my behind the scenes with Julian Hill and my journey. And why am I sharing this? I'm not sharing this to get famous. I'm not sharing this just to do another YouTube because this takes a lot of work. I have a videographer here. I have assistants here. I have a whole setup over here. This is a lot of work. The reason I'm doing it is because I get so many questions. How did you get to work with that person? How did you take that photo of Kim Kardashian? How did you take that picture of JLo? How did you meet Will Smith? What did that feel like? You know how that happened? That happened because I decided I want to take photos of Julian Hill and a Molusco at this play in Kissimmee. I never thought that that one connection, I never thought that, that one time that I saw this guy looked into my store was because I was gonna work with him again and he was gonna align to my purpose. So if you feel like your purpose is to be in the film industry or in the photography industry, or maybe you wanna be a reporter, or maybe you wanna be something else that has nothing to do with this, I hope this video inspires you to go after your dreams and don't look at any moment as a small, minuscule moment. Sometimes those small, minuscule moments lead to that big purpose. Why did I meet Thalia? Because the doors of Univision opened through Julian Hill. So I'm forever grateful to Julian Hill and his entire family. They treat me so well. Let's pause right here. More than just a client, Julian has become like that cool uncle or an older brother. He invites me to ride in his luxury car. He shares his expertise on business to help me grow. He gives positive feedback and he lives by example. He's always taking care of his body, of his peace of mind and his family and friends. I haven't met somebody else who has such discipline and such love for what he does and who he works with. And that's how this works. When somebody opens a big door for you like Julian did and he promised he would, you just gotta keep going and keep going. And so until this day, I can show up and I know the doors will be open. And for that, I'm grateful for Julian and for all the team at Univision. All my friends, you know who you are. Don't forget to subscribe and, and watch this next video. Only if it's me. If it's somebody else, don't watch it.